This is the breadfruit tree, and it is a very useful plant, brought to Hawaii by ancient voyaging Polynesians some 1,000 years before Columbus crossed the Atlantic. Breadfruit has been a staple in the Hawaiian diet alongside other superfoods, such as taro and coconut, while also being utilized for building materials and fabric making. A breadfruit tree is a high-yielding fruit plant, with it being able to produce around 200 breadfruits per season. Male and female flowers grow at the end of each branch. The male inflorescence appears first with tiny flowers surrounding a spongy core. Then the inf female inflorescence appears with 1,500 to 2,000 flowers. Pollination occurs and forms the flesh of the breadfruit. Breadfruit is a staple food in many tropical regions. In the Hawaiian language, breadfruit is referred to as ulu and is prepared in various ways. Breadfruit roasted over hot coals is called ulu pulehu. It can also be cooked and mashed into a paste called poi ulu, or mashed with coconut milk to make pie piele. Another reason that breadfruit is so popular is because the tree, not just the fruit, has many uses. All parts of the tree, including the unripe fruit, are rich in latex, which can be used as a waterproof sealant, a paint when mixed with pigments or, when che or in chewing gum. The leaves of the tree are often used for f as feed for livestock. Fiber from the bark is traditionally fashioned into fabric for clothing, and the flowers can be burnt as a natural, powerful insect repellent. The wood of the breadfruit tree is especially useful, thanks to its light weight and durability. The wood is used for everything from surfboards, traditional Hawaiian drums, and canoes, to building materials for houses, especially roofs. The breadfruit leaves are even believed to have medicinal properties that can alleviate asthma, cure ear and skin infections, and ease toothaches. There's a story of mutiny on the bounty, where William Blige lost his ship in 1789 to Fletcher Christian and fellow mutineers near the island of Tonga. During that expedition, they were to collect breadfruit and bring it back to the West Indies as cheap food for slaves. Having been thrown into a lifeboat with other members of his crew, Blige navigated his way through the sea for 48 days until he landed on an island in Southeast Asia called Timor. His accomplishment had him promoted to captain and was sent back to Tahiti for another breadfruit journey, where he returned with 2,126 breadfruit plants, and in February 1793, Captain William Blige had deposited 66 breadfruit specimens from Tahiti to Bath Botanical Gardens in Jamaica. According to a Hawaiian myth, the breadfruit tree originated from the war god Ku, who decided to live secretly among the villagers and start a family. After a famine gripped their village, Ku told his wife that he could save them from starvation, but must go somewhere far away. With his feet planted firmly on the land, he stood tall and erect, then gradually he began to sink as the earth swallowed him up. Standing over that spot, his wife's tears wet the soil and sprouts began to grow swiftly, reaching up to the stars. Hundreds of ulu fruit swung from the branches, and Ku told his wife from within, Roast the fruit well, remove the skin, and you shall eat. And this was the gift of Ku.